welcome to our channel my name is nikita from bisp solution in today's video i will explain how we can create position in oracle let's see so let's move on to the application on the home page go to my client group and then go to workforce structure and click on manage position option for creating new position click on create option here fill the basic details of the position like effective date parent position business unit and name of the position then click on next option here fill the position description like uh, job and the risk of the position no area of the position and the assignment category of the position full time or part time is already selected and regular or temporary is already selected then we move on to the hiring information so hiring status every position must have hiring status and in hiring status you have three option which is approved frozen and proposed so approved means available for available for use frozen means position can continue to be used with current holder and proposed means planning to use okay and you have also position type so in position type you have four option so pooled means the position is loosely defined so rules about ft and hours are not imposed by the system and shared means there can be several increment up to the value of the ft field and uh, single increment means that only one employee is allowed to hold the position at one time so what is fte so when employees are uh, fte is full time equivalent when employee employees are hired assign the fte of the position to employee this fills the fte and reduce the vacancy portion of the position and uh, use the fte tab to specify full time equivalent assignment for an employee for example if an employee is full time january to march and part time the rest of the year specify one for january february and march and 0.5 for the remaining months enter ft value typically between 0 to 1 that indicates if the employee is full time or part time so next is head count so what is head count means head count means the number of people sharing a position irrespective of the number of hours they do for example if full time is 40 hours a week and you have two people doing 20 hours a week each then head count is 2 and fte is 1 so you have to pass the ft and head counts value based on the position type for example if position type is single income man then ft is mandatory as head count is defaulted to 1 like ft is 1 and head count is also 1 so when your position type is shared then both are required ft is 1 and head count is 2 because on total working hours you have two employee doing 20 hours a week each so if you have selected pooled and none so both are not mandatory so if uh, if you want to fill security clearance you can uh, fill here and uh, also if there is a provision period for this position you can enter this length in the provision period like uh, give the number and select the period 
So, what's the union? The worker union is a HCM organization. You can create a new worker union or select an existing organization to define a worker union. What is bargaining unit? Uh, bargaining unit is a specific group of employees who are re represented by one authorized union. And next is collective agreement. So collective agreement is a special type of commercial agreement that's negotiated collectively between the management on the behalf of company and uh, trade union on the behalf of employees. So the agreement regulates the terms and condition of employees in their workplace, their duty and the duties of the employer. So next is overlap allowed. So this option is available for each position to control whether or not extra people can be hired when the position headcount limit has been reached. So Seasonal information, the estimate start date and end date for season relevant to seasonal position. You can also fill the budget details and work terms like fill the grade ladder and entry the grade. Yeah. So standard working hours and frequency of the working hours is already appeared when you select the grade and you can also fill the start time and end time of the position. So next, click on next option. So you can define evaluation criteria, same as job. You can also define the evaluation criteria for position, including the evaluation system, uh, date and the unit of uh, measure for evaluation system. The Hay system is the predefined evolution system that available and additional value of custom is include is the list of value for the evolution system field. But you must add your own criteria and values for this system. So click on next option. So this is the profile here and profile for this job about qualification like uh, what qualification do you need for your positions? And if you already created, then click on existing profile option. So click on next option. We move on to the review page. This is the information of our position, which we creating and then click on submit option. So this is how you can create new position in your Oracle HCM. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching.